All right, welcome back. Um, here we have an example uh, of a topography map and we're gonna delineate a watershed here, right? So let's talk about this uh, map really quick. I, I kind of uh, drew or wrote some of the elevation numbers here. We have, um, here's our red point down here and that's, our, that's gonna be our outlet, so step one, right? Step one is to identify the outlet and that's already done. It's, it's right right here okay that's the outlet so this is where all the water is gonna flow out to and then we have contour lines we have elevations um, this outlet seems to be around elevation 4800 and then as we move um, up up to the right uh, elevations seem to get bigger and bigger and bigger okay so the first step was to identify the outlet which we just did all right the second step is to identify high points high points so if we look at this map if we look at the bottom bottom right we can see that there's a there's a high point here and it's at elevation 75 15 okay if we keep looking around the map uh, we find one here there's an elevation a high elevation point um, here's another one uh, then we have this one up here of seven uh, seven thousand twenty five um, and there, there's one here um, let's see any any place else that you guys see well you guys can't talk to me but I think that's it so those are the high points all right so that's step two uh, the third step is to identify the ridges and the valleys okay and remember when we find valleys we usually draw little tributaries on them so let's say let's say we had actually the valleys are kind of already shown we have these two rivers here right this this river here and then there's one down here and then there's also little tiny tributaries so if i had a water droplet here there would be um something like that that might be a, a small little uh valley um, maybe some more maybe not no all right so um, so that's some of our valleys and then we have ridges ridges so how do we actually connect ridges and high points together so we start at this outlet and we go perpendicular to the lines um, for all the ridges okay so what we want to do actually let me start up here there's two high points here right there's one here and there's one here how do we connect them together well ridges need to be at the highest elevation possible so this this ridge right here would look something like this boom connected these two lines are connected and then this one and this one we want to draw perpendicular to the lines it would look something like this oops that let me redo that so it it would look something like this go perpendicular to the lines right and then we have a high point down here the 75 15 and we have this high point down here so we want to connect those perpendicularly that's not a word is it a word i don't know maybe we want to connect these perpendicular and boom there's another ridge so if we come back here there's there's this outlet and there's this high point up here there's no high points in between but what I do know is that my knowledge of ridges is that this this right here is a ridge so I'm connecting these lines perpendicular to one another until I reach a high point which is right there all right and then we have this high point up here and then we, we there's there's this apparent ridge right here you kind of see that and there's really no right way to do it but there are a million wrong ways to do them um, you just do this with practice so you identify ridges here's another ridge this might look something like this and here here things get a little tricky because you think this ridge I'm gonna draw this in in um, squiggly lines you think the ridge is going to go all the way there but our outlet's here so we need to turn around and connect connect this outlet okay so this black line that we drew that's our watershed okay 
and I actually did step five. Right now, I delineated the watershed, but really, there's no there's no right way to do this. But there are many many wrong ways to do this. Um, my my recommendation is just look up different topography maps, draw a random dot somewhere, and identify uh, the high points, the valleys, the ridges, and then connect the ridges and the high points and the outlet together, uh, and draw your watershed. So in our case, this watershed is all of this, everything in, in within this black uh, boundary right here. So this this visually is a watershed. All right.